Dear Heavenly Father, we're coming to you in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to come together your Sabbath day, Heavenly Father. The day you said to have a holy convocation so we can learn more about you. And as your word goes forth, Heavenly Father, give us understanding, Lord God, and not just understand your word, Heavenly Father, but also to apply it to our lives. In Jesus' precious name, amen. 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 The title of today's lesson is, Jesus is the Word of God. Amen. Jesus is the Word of God. And as we, like I said, and as we're going to search the scriptures, we're going to realize that all the prophets were speaking of the one to come, which was Jesus. And then when you read the apostles, they testified on what the apostles, and what, what the prophets wrote about Jesus coming, because he came in the volume of the book. Yeah. And it's amazing how, like I said, people who, who are Old Testament only, they cannot see him in the Bible at all. They, they tell you it's Hezekiah. They tell you it's David. They tell you Ezekiel, Jeremiah. They give you all the different answers except the correct one, which is Christ, the Messiah. You know, it's like that. So we're going to go ahead and start this lesson off in Luke 4 and read 1 through 4. Luke chapter 4. We're going to read 1 through 4. Luke? Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They also say Solomon, too. Yeah, exactly. Like, you get all kinds. Of, every answer but the right one. But see, they don't have any understanding because that's why Jesus said, um, like I said, I know I was telling my uncle this. Uh, uncle, see? As so, soon as I hit it with this passage, man, that's when, that's when you got to shake the dust off your feet. When it says um, in John 10, 22, and it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. And Jesus walked into the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long does thou make us doubt? If thou be Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered him and said, I told you, and you believe not. The works that I do are in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But you believe me not, because you are not my sheep, as I said unto you. See, they don't, they, they don't have it because they're not his sheep. So they, that's why they can't, they can, they can read something where it says, the righteous branch of David. Brother, that's Solomon. Wait, that's David. David is the root of Jesse. How is he the root of his father? Like, right. he's the offspring. Right. You get answers like that because they're not his sheep. John yeah, it was, yeah, it was John. I was reading John 10, 22 okay. through uh, to, uh, to 20, uh, 26. Yeah. But let's go, ahead, let's go to Luke 4. Luke 4, 1 through 4. Luke 4. One through four. You get there? Go ahead. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, mm -hmm. being forty days tempted of the devil. Being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. So he was in his lowest state right here. And this is when the devil about to come tempt him in his lowest state. But go ahead. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, Command the stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Amen. But, Amen. Yeah, because you got some people who believe, you know, verse 4, and Jesus says to him, It is written and that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that Paul spoke. <laughs> because, yeah. you know, because they're going to quote everything Paul, mm -hmm. Paul this, Paul that. Mm -hmm. And in actuality, Paul is, he's, he's teaching in line with the prophets and with the apostles, but right. they want to take his writings, twist them because they're unlearned, right. so that they try to tell you, we, see, Paul said we ain't got to teach the, uh, we ain't got to keep the law, and that's totally contrary to the word of God. And see, a lot of times, I'd be, be thinking, I'd be saying, Lord, are these people just ignorant of your word, or are they agents of Satan? Both. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, because remember, so, yeah, so, look at that, though, when you ask that question, second, um, yeah, Second uh, Thessalonians, uh, no, Second uh, Corinthians eleven and four. When you ask that question, let's see. Second, Second Corinthians eleven and four says. Second Corinthians eleven and four. It says, "For if he come preaching another Jesus, whom he, we have not preached, or we received another Spirit, whom he have not received, or another Gospel which he have not accepted, you may you may wipe, you might well bear with him." He says right here. But, verse 12, but what I do that I will do, that I may cut off the occasion from them which desire occasion, and that wherein they glory, that they may be found even as we, for such are such apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to the works. So they're coming. So they come at you. You thinking that they are, but no, they're actually, they're actually. Like a demonic assignment. Yeah, demonic assignment. Yeah. Some are, some are kind of ignorant. Don't get me wrong. But the ones that are kind of ignorant, don't really have understanding. Those are the ones that can receive the word of God and be like the Bereans and search the scriptures and realize what they were doing was wrong. But the ones out there who are 
plainly uh, keep going with it. You can show them in the scriptures, everything show them, and they still won't. Those are agents. Right. Yeah. No, no, you're right. Excellent point. Amen. Praise God. Go ahead. Uh, oh, you good? Okay, let's go. Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy eight, one through three. Deuteronomy eight, one through three. Did you get there? Go ahead. All the commandments which I command thee this day shall you observe to do, that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee mm. and to prove thee to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. Mm -hmm. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna which thou knewest not. Neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that man does not live by bread only, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord does man live. Amen. Amen. That's how we live. Through every, every word, not just the New Testament, not just the Old Testament, but we need from Genesis to Malachi. We need all of that because all of it is going to testify of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ephesians, yeah, Ephesians 6, Ephesians 6, 10 through 19. Because see, when we're also dealing with this wall, we have to put on this whole armor of God as well because he's constantly coming, attacking us, Satan, especially his, especially his disciples, the ones who are teaching this true word of God, he's coming after us. So that's, that's what we got to do, put on the whole armor of God. Go ahead. Uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 19. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord mm -hmm. and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to do with, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, mm -hmm. and having done all to stand. Mm. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, mm -hmm. and having on the blessed breastplate, breastplate of righteousness, mm -hmm. and having your feet shy with preparation of the gospel of peace. Yes. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Mm -hmm. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So we, so, so we understand the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, but go ahead. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Yes. And watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Yes. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Amen. Amen. So that's how we do like it says, because remember when Paul got the revelation of Jesus Christ when he went to Arabia for those three years. In the same way how the apostles got the revelation of Christ because he was preaching to them in three years. Now, we have the mysteries and understanding of the Bible because we can go back and we'll, we'll see the things that were written of Christ. We'll see the apostles came and testify what was written for the prophets talking about Christ. So we understand the mystery, but then you tell the people who don't know, who don't believe in the New Testament, and you give them all these different answers. That's why they give you, you get so many different answers, but we can give you one answer, which is Christ, because we have the New Testament to substantiate that. Exactly. Let's go now to Luke 11. Let's go to Luke 11. Luke 11. Luke 11. Luke, uh -huh. You know how, um, how they say, when, when, when you just have to the Bible, it says that the devil only follows um, the people that really truly believe in God. Do you notice how when we were celebrating the um, uh, Thanksgiving and stuff like that, um, the devil really wasn't around us, but he was like around us in the area and like um, making us lie and do all these false things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise amen. God. There you go. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. You're right. Amen. Amen. Definitely. 
But that's why we got to put on the whole armor of God so that the Bible says in uh, 1 Peter 5, 8, uh, we got to, um, what do you say, 1 Peter 5, 8, where he says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk about seeking whom he may devour, who resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are around the world. So it's letting you know, even though you're going through these trials and tribulations being attacked by Satan, he's also going to be attacking other brothers and sisters in the faith around the world. So don't feel, don't feel bad that he's just coming after you. No, he's going after all the saints who believe in Christ. Amen. Exactly. Amen. Let's go now to Luke 11. Luke 11. We're going to read 27 and 28. Luke 11. Verse 27 and 28. Luke 11, 27, 28. When you get there, go ahead. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou suck, hast sucked. So, he, so she's talking about dinner with Mary. And you, you know, a lot of Catholics, love the, you know, Catholics yeah. quote this. They quote, but look what Jesus say after this stuff. Watch what he gonna say. But what? But he said, Yea, rather, Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. That's what Praise he's God. saying. Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, I know you're saying that, you know, because I came through as a vessel. But now, nah, blessed are the ones that hear the word of God and keep it and do it. Yeah, yeah, she was just a vessel. vessel. Yeah, that's, matter of fact, watch what he says about Mary again. Dealing with Mary, because people love to try to deify Mary and put her up in the right scale. Now, watch this. Watch what he says. Luke 8. Luke 8, 19 through 21. 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 And when you get there, go ahead. Then came to him his mother and his brethren, and could not come at him for the press. It was a crowd, it was crowded. Mm -hmm. And it was told him by certain which said, Thy mother and thy brother stand without desiring to see thee. Now watch what he gonna say. And he answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are these which hear the word of God and do it. And do it. Yeah. He ain't talking about just don't be hearing. You gotta actually do it. Right. So when God say, Thou shalt not kill, don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Because they try to say, Well, see, you know, under that old law, the old covenant, they was up under the Thou shalt not this. Thy shall not that. That's all bondage. We in freedom in Christ now. So now you go out to sin. <laughs> so now you go out to sin. Yeah. Now I'm telling you. That's. <laughs> but did you see? You see how the Roman, you see how the Roman Catholic Church have deified Mary the, it, it, the way they have deified yes. Jesus Christ. That's what it's all about. They mm -hmm. pray Mary. Yeah. They pray Mary. It's the hell Mary. They're full of grace. Yeah, that's what they say. That you uh, were supposed to pray to actually atone for your sin. Yeah, because she's the queen of heaven, they call her. They call her the queen of heaven. Yeah. All these traditions, yeah. Go and say to the two decades of the rosary, and your sins are forgiven. Wow. And then, right, and then, and you say a lot of time, you say a lot of time, because, now, is it, the, doesn't the priest say, now you're forgiven? The priest will say he, that, right? He does. Yeah. And then he tells you what your penance is. And nine times out of ten, your penance is to say so many decades of okay. the rosary, mm -hmm. you know, and then, you know, and then that completes your forgiveness. Cause they're like, brother, when was the last time you came into confession? Oh, about five years ago. Oh, yeah, God. Started, Father, me, so and so. yeah, this is really long. Well, you're supposed to repent. I mean, repent daily. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause you got sins of omission and commission, sins you know about, don't know about. I repent daily. I ain't gonna be gone no Wait, two months, three yeah, months right. trying now. Why would you want to do that? Those gangsters can come because they want their killing missions and stuff. They gonna right. kill a whole bunch of folks and stuff. And yeah. Doing the boot. Like that mafia. The mafia. Yeah. What? Yeah. And that got us uh, mixed up with uh, what we're actually Yeah. Right, exactly. You remember we were reading in the last two million years on how they took Christmas and they said they took pagan pagan practices alongside with the Bible and merged them together. That's how we got Christmas. That's how we got Easter. That's how we got Sunday worship. All of that stuff is how all those things came to fruition. And yet, you should go in the scriptures. You don't see any of that. Uh, I don't know about that, bro. Nah, what you mean you don't know? You can't read it. <laughs> and, they got, and they got nations that go behind it because when you talk here the other day, 
thing and stuff uh, about what about about Easter about how they dipped. The eggs yeah, the, yeah, the blood. blood. Yes, of, exactly. Of, of, of now they use paint now. Yeah, exactly. But they use paint exactly. They, they wonder why all these right. cuss, all these things came about from somewhere. If you don't know the origin, understanding. Now it's like it's like a blind leading the blind. You're gonna go into the ditch. You gotta know this stuff. Latter days, knowledge. Yeah. When they, like you said in the beginning, when they're talking about food, the only thing that's gonna be free to them is the lake of fire. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Huh? they go straight. Yeah, like I said, they don't repent. Right? If they don't. If, if they don't repent, if they don't repent, that's where they're gonna go because they they love it. Like I don't know why they keep saying that the law of God is bondage because it's always thy shall not. Thy shall not. Like, huh? That's rebellion. They don't want to. They don't want to serve God. That's exactly what it is. He said the carnal mind was, the carnal mind is enmity with the law. And it is not subject to the laws of God. Praise God. You're right. Amen. Amen. James 1. James 1. James 1, 19 through 25. James 1. James 1, 19 through 25. When you get there, go ahead. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear. Yes. Slow to speak, slow to wrath. Yes. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Right, because you got some folks that'll just yeah. fire out, shot off for no reason. They'll, uh, they'll go from flat to fluffy, yeah. and then they realize, damn, you know, or, or you got some folks, you know, they say they wear the emotions on their sleeve. Yeah. Like you got a whole lot of folks like that who wish they're in prison. They never really yeah. uh, well, committed I, some of the crimes they well, did, but they, they were did. so in the flesh. And they allow the wrath to take over. That's why the Bible says, anger, but sin not, though. Don't yeah. sin. Like I said, you can be mad, but just don't sin while you're doing it. And then it says, do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Because if you let the sun go down on your yeah. wrath, then it can allow, you can let it manifest and fester to you. Then it can turn it to sin then. Exactly. Yeah. There's people that's holding grudges for There you, there you, there you go. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. No, and it's eating them. Mm -hmm. It's eating them away at them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness yes. and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Yes. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. Mm -hmm. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. Yes. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way. And straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. So just imagine, here you are, you're looking in the mirror, and you're looking back. And when you're looking back, you're understanding, okay, I need to keep the commandments of God. I need to serve God. Do what thus says the Lord. Everything in the mirror. But when you leave about that mirror, now you forget everything that what you need to do. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible says, like you said, he said, put the commandments on, on all. He said, put them on your right hand or on your front lid or your high so that you can always remember. Put Put, put them on fringes so that you can already remember. But a man will be looking in the mirror and knowing what he's supposed to do. But as soon as he gets up out of the mirror, he forgets everything that he did. And that's what God's saying. Like, you're not supposed to be doing that. You're supposed to be a, a doer of the word. Just because now that you hear it, now you have to do it. Because you're hearing it when you're looking in the, in, 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 in the, in the mirror. You're hearing it, but then when you walk away, you're no longer a doer anymore. Like, for example, when you're, um, like, say one of us, uh, uh, what is that? Go ahead. Me. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Um, Okay. And then we leave service and then, you know, say, um, tell anyone about it, and then we still go on with stuff in the world. That's us leaving the mirror. Mm, praise God. Okay, I just said praise God. Praise God. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, good job. Mm -hmm. While we, like, that's beautiful how she said that and stuff is that while we in the midst of this study, yes. we are in the mirror. mirror. Mm -hmm. But when we leave, <laughs> yeah. we, we, we've taken our face Amen. from, from mm -hmm. the mirror. Praise God. Good. That was very good. Yeah. That was Amen. Good. Amen. 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 Let's go to um, verse, what is it, 20, um, no, 25. No, 25. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty. Whoa, 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 the perfect law of what? Liberty. So time out. Because they say that the law is what? Bondage. Bondage. He's saying that the law of liberty, and then we, if you go to Psalms 119 and 45 and 40, 44 and 45, it says, so shall I keep the law continually forever and ever, and I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. So you're walking in freedom because you are no longer bound, and you're not you're no you're no longer bound under the law and under the sin. Right? Because see, now when you keep you're keeping these commandments, now you have freedom. But they say it's you're under bondage because you are keeping the commandments. I'm like, man, that doesn't so make bondage to not steal, not steal, not <laughs> man, let me tell you something. I stay away from folks like that because I can't, I wouldn't let it trust them. 
Right. Because they, cause they thinking, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. hey, I ain't under the law. Exactly. So I can take that. And the Lord said he died for it because he knew I couldn't keep the law. That's why he kept it for me. That's why I stole it. <laughs> That's why I stole it. Yeah, yeah. Shoot. God knew I couldn't. God knew I wasn't going to work for that. You know what I'm saying? But he died for me, though. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's, why, why, saying That's why Pastor Dell would be so angry with me. You want to keep does. that law. He, he does. I mean, he is. He's angry. angry. Yeah, it's he's like angry. His he's angry. He's angry. angry. And then he don't tell yeah, me to read the mad. scriptures. He should be called the mirror Bible. There you go. See, yeah, the mirror Bible. And you say it was written by that French, by a French Gentile. Yeah, Gentile made that Yeah, Gentile made that up. But yeah, let's go now to us. throw in grace in a minute, though. Yeah. Second Peter 3. Mm-hmm. But they don't even understand what grace is. Man. No, they don't. they don't. You can't have grace and law at the same time. It doesn't mix. It's oil and water. Okay, all right. Okay. How that keep, keep that same energy on judgment day. Woo. You don't repent. I'm telling you, you can't. But these are all the ones who claim they love and know the Lord, though. That's yes. that, and that's the sad part. When Jesus said, "Why is I calling me Lord, Lord, but don't do the things that I say?" He said, in that day." <laughs> He said, many going to come saying, Lord, they're not prophesying your name. Cast out devils in your name. Perform mm -hmm. many miracles in your name. He's going to say, depart from me. I knew you not. Workers of iniquity. That's going to be a sad that's day. That's, that's a sad day. That's why the Lord, um, he died on the cross so he, um, we could get our life straight. Not so we can lie. Amen. Because that's exactly. Right. That's mm -hmm. Second Peter. Second Peter 3, 1 through 4. Go ahead. Second Peter 3, 1 through 4. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, mm. in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembering, mm -hmm. that ye may be mindful of the words which are spoken before by the holy prophet. Uh oh, that ye may be mindful of the words that are spoken by who? By the holy, holy prophet. And what else? And of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers. Walking after their own lust, mm -hmm. and saying, "Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation." Yeah, because you got a lot of people saying it's been two thousand years. Y'all been saying Jesus is gonna come any day. Now he ain't come yet. It's a lot of scoffers, mm -hmm. but we understand because we're paying attention to prophecies. We understand, so we know he can't just come any day. But we've all been told that though mm -hmm. he can come any day, can you anytime. Can he can come tomorrow. No, he can't. Prophecy has to be fulfilled. The temple got to be built. The, the son of perdition got to stand in the temple and rule for three and a half years. Amen. All that stuff has to happen before he comes. But they telling you, nah, he can come tomorrow. Right. What? He can come for you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he can take you. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Yeah, we all. Yeah, but now we got some understanding of the scriptures. Right. That's why he said, um, "In the last days, will be like in the days of Noah." That's what eating, I drinking, and marrying. Yeah, they don't know. But then you had Noah, who was a preacher of righteousness, warning them. So that's what we are. We're preachers of righteousness. Warning the people of the coming of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But he's not, yeah, but when it's going to be like a thief of the night to them because they have no understanding. But right, we have some understanding. Right. But, but like scripture said, when God shut up the ark. There you go. Yeah, he closed it. Yes. You know Amen. How many people were running beating on that door? Yes. Because if Noah would have closed it, he would have felt compassion and sympathy and then would have opened the door to let him in. There you go. But God heard a lot of that. Oh, you know you heard a lot of You never saw rain? Look it up towards that window. That was in the they, yeah, they never saw they rain. All of a sudden, rain coming. Yeah. Oh, shh, man. Well, that's all they saw was just to do. Because, matter of yeah. fact, it's, it's still like that now. Like I yeah, said, you go outside, it doesn't rain, but then you'll still see dew on the ground and all that's that all stuff. They saw. You still see it, yeah. So, so they thought he was crazy. Yeah, they thought he was crazy. Oh, but no, but what you just had read and stuff, that reminds me of the times of Noah because that's what they were saying. You got people right now, man, where is he going to come? You yeah, know, it's 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 just like it's always been. Yeah, just like it's always been. Ephesians 2. No, no, yeah, Ephesians 2. Oh, I'm sorry. What's up? What's up? Good. Are you good, Ken? No, you good, Ken? Go ahead. Nah, Ken. No, 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 no. Say it. It's all right. You good? Yeah. It's all right. No. You sure? Okay, it's no problem. But yeah, just know. Just, yeah, yeah, just know. That anything you want to say something? Or y'all want to speak, just let me know. Anytime. Yeah. Yeah, anytime, y'all. Definitely. Now we're going to go to um, 2 Ephesians 11 through 22. 2 Ephesians 11 through 22. Second Ephesians, eleven through twenty-two. Ephesians two. Ephesians two. What I say? Second Ephesians. Yes. Well, I'm sound like what's the name? I'm tripping. <laughs> Ephesians two. I'm oh, sorry. Ephesians two, eleven through twenty-two. Thank you. Ephesians two. Right? Yeah. They got a second one. Ephesians two. Ephesians. Oh, nah. nah. Ephesians two, eleven through twenty-two. Ephesians. Yeah. Right. Ephesians two, eleven through twenty-two. Thank you. All right. Appreciate that. Let's go. Verse eleven. 
Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, mm -hmm. who are called uncircumcision, by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh, mm -hmm. made by hand, yeah. that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenant the promise, having no hope and without God in the world. And it's amazing, you know how these, these these Hebrew brothers read this and they tell you this is talking about the northern kingdom? No. They read this and say, brother, see, we were carried away as Gentiles. We had a Gentile state of mind. So I said, but he said Gentiles in the, in the flesh. flesh. But now, brother, you got to understand, see, if you read Maccabees, brother. Maccabees. <laughs> you got to understand, brother. Like, no, I'm reading here and I'm understanding that these were Gentiles, not no Israelites. What are you talking about? But verse, yeah, but go ahead, verse 13. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Yes. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Yes. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, mm -hmm. so making peace. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you, which were afar off, yes. and to them that were not. So he's telling, so he came preaching to the ones who were far off, which were the Gentiles, and to the Israelites who were not, right? So he, that's what he said, to the ones who were far off, and to them that are not, that what? 18? For through... For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. And that access is the word of God. That's the access that we have to get to them. Go ahead. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, uh -huh. but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, mm -hmm. and are built upon the foundation of the apostles yes. and prophets, mm. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. So you see what the church is built on. Mm -hmm. The church is built upon... It says it's built upon the apostles and the prophets and Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone because you got these, you got Gentiles right now, people are the church fathers, they start naming uh, Tertullian and, and, and John Mar uh, Martin, like anytime you read this thing called the Dedicate, these are, that's what, that's what they call the church fathers and, and that stuff was written like about what, 100, 200, 300, 400 uh, AD, but if you read what the church fathers are saying, all those church fathers are going against the laws of God. They're telling you, keep the Lord's day. Don't keep the Sabbath. They're telling you, you don't have to worry about eating certain kind of food. You can eat whatever you want. Like, But those are the church fathers that they are referring to. But the, our church fathers are the prophets, apostles, and Christ being the chief cornerstone. That's, that's what the church was built upon. Go ahead. And whom all the buildings fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, mm -hmm. in whom ye also are built together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. amen. So now let's go ahead and go to uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 8, Isaiah 8. Because see, when Christ came, a lot of people rejected him. But see, the prophet Isaiah was already saying they were going to reject him anyway when he was coming. That's why he said when he came into his own, his own received him not. Isaiah 8, 13 through 20. Isaiah 8, 13 through 20. When you get there, go ahead. Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself, and let him be your fear, mm -hmm. and let him be your dread. And he shall be for a sanctuary, yes. but for a stone of stumbling and for a rock of offense yes. to both the houses of Israel. For a gin and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Yes. And many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken, and be snared, and be taken. Real quick, hold on real quick. Just put this in your notes. Isaiah, I'm going to go to Isaiah 28. I think it's Isaiah 28. Um, Isaiah 28 and 16 says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation, and he that believeth shall not make haste. And we understand that this stone, this tri stone, this was Jesus. And also, right, right but also, and also in Psalms 118 and 22, Psalms 118 and 22, it says right here, it says, the stone which the builders refuse is become the headstone of the corner. Exactly. Because 
Remember, they rejected Israel. Uh, Israel rejected Christ. You know, something like that. So, but he is. But see, he was already spoken of by the prophets. Always, always, and exactly. What, that was Isaiah twenty-eight. Yeah, Isaiah twenty-eight, sixteen and seventeen, and then uh, uh, Psalms one eighteen twenty-two. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Bind up the testimony. Yes. Seal the law among my disciples. Do what? Seal the law among my disciples. Well, I thought he nailed the law to the cross. <laughs> so why is he saying bind up the testimony and seal the law among my disciples? Who are his disciples? Are we not his disciples? Yes. Don't we go around professing the name of Jesus Christ yes. until we Amen. repent and to follow him? But Amen. when you're doing that, you can't leave the law. Of course, you don't come to them, bring the law first to them because the law can't justify you. He's the one that can justify us and clears, clears, clears up from guilt. So we preach Jesus to them first, and then you teach obedience. Because if you try to bring the law to them first without Christ, there is no remission or justification for their sin. So you got to preach Jesus first, and then be in obedience to the commandments. Amen. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And I will wait upon the Lord that hideth his face from the house of Jacob, mm -hmm. and I will look for him. Mm. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord hath given me, are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. which dwelleth in Mount Zion. Right. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep, mm -hmm. and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God right. for the living to the dead? Exactly, because you got right now, you know, a, a, cause you know, you don't have some people who are so-called Christians that they say they love the Lord, yeah, I know you're going through a lot, sister. Yeah, but let me tell you something. I know, I know you're praying, but look, uh, uh, Sister Betty down there, yo, she a palm reader. She a medium. She'll yep. tell you everything you need to know. And then when you do it, and then Jesus is going to bless you. What? you like, hold up. Like, no, you're supposed to be seeking Christ. You don't be seeking no mediums and palm readers. But they'll do that, though, but they'll claim they still love the Lord. And yeah, that's what I say. You can't worship, uh, you can't sit and see the devils and their God. No, you can't do that. Yes, exactly. Yeah, the Bible yeah. says. Yeah, the Bible says. Don't. Power, yes. Power, so any power that you are seeking that's out of God's oh. power, you're seeking demonic like Amen. Uh, thing. You're not trusting God. Amen. 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 God Amen. You, Amen. Know, you know, show me what He said. He was God our wisdom. Amen. Jesus said, right. "He's the way, the truth, and the life." Look, he says right here, Psalm, uh, Isaiah 47:11. He says, "Therefore, shall evil come upon thee, and thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee." And thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thine enchantments, and what thy multitude of sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, thou shalt be able to profit. If so, thou might, mayest prevail. Thou art weary in the multitude of counsels. Look at this. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators, stand up and save thee from the things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them, and they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame, and there shall not be a coal to warm it, nor a fire to set it forth. Exactly. Oh, yeah, Isaiah 47, um, Isaiah 47, 11 through 14. Amen. You can't call this a child of God and stuff and have a crucifix on your, on your, uh, on your uh, river mirror with some crystals hung up on it. <laughs> all, right, all that stuff. Yeah. Crucifix is not of God. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can, great image. But then again, they got that, and then, then after that, they got the they crystals. Got, yeah. Then everybody's hollering around. So yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, uh, I'm a Scorpio. You know, mm -hmm. That's oh, a yeah. horoscope. That's all of that no, shit. But no you got churches are full. And then don't get me wrong. I was. Well, we were once, yeah, yeah, but now we realize, like, yeah. But what, what's right. your sign? <laughs> Yeah, but now that with the more understanding of stuff that we get, then we realize those are things about the devil. And now we turn from those things yeah. exactly, and that's what God was grace for. Us, whereas, okay, you were to these things, but now that you come into the understanding, don't do those things anymore. And if your person still wants to continue to do those things after they receive the knowledge of the truth, there there remains no more sacrifice for sin anymore. Ooh, exactly, right. Hebrews ten twenty six. Yeah, recommend mine. It's so important when they say two can walk together. Amen. Praise God. Because what people are doing. They just feel like, well, that's just a person to see a person, what their belief system is and what they're going to do is going to spill over. Yes. Because yeah. the Holy Spirit and darkness cannot operate. Amen. 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 They, Amen. They, they, want to, they want to be loyal to the person, but then once you're around it, something's going to take over. Mm. Praise God. Amen. That's so deep. Can't do that. so you be around. That's so deep. People, yeah. yeah no. Amen. Just steer clear. There you Love go. Love God. Let, trust God and let every man be a lot. There you, you go. See, a lot of times people are so concerned about friendships. Yeah. Yes. That's what Brianna was saying earlier. Be loyal to God. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 
you right. can be so loyal to a person, Amen. and then you're, you know, uh, stepping out on God. God mm. said, oh, he said, he's the one you're supposed to love. Praise God. Mind, so. Amen. Look what, like in Galatians 1.10, it says, for do I now persuade men or God? Mm -hmm. Or do I seek to please men? Mm -hmm. For if I yet please yes. men, I should not be a servant of Christ. Exactly. Amen. 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 Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony. Yes. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Right. And we understand that the law is from Genesis to Malachi, and the testimony is from Matthew to Revelation. So that's how he said, if so, if no one, if no one comes to you speaking according to that, that means there is no light, no truth in them. Because you got to... Because you got some people who read the Old Testament but don't reject the New Testament. Right. And some people who read the Old oh. New Testament and reject the Old. You got to have both. You got to have the both. Like, you can't get understanding just reading half a book. You got to have the whole book. Because Jesus said, I came in the volume of the book. And he did. He came in the volume of the book. Let's go now to, um, let's go now to uh, Revelation. Oh, Revelation 19. Yeah, because you know you said you can't read half a book and get, you know, uh, all the understanding. Yes. You also can't uh, answer half of a math question. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. No, yeah, you're right. No, good point. Amen. 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 Let's go to uh, Revelation 19. Revelation 19, 6 through 10. Revelation 19, 6 through 10. And the part of the Bible that said that, um, what, and one of the scriptures it said that, yeah, um, I'm giving you my book if you want us to read the whole thing. He said, eat um, the book of knowledge. Yeah, you got to eat it, right? Yeah, yeah you got to eat this book, right? Because it's sweet. It's like sweet in our mouth. But then it goes down, it's like Man. bitter in our stomach yeah. because we have the understanding and when we're trying to minister to people, they reject it. Mm -hmm. So that, that hurts, but you know, but we're still supposed to continue to keep preaching the word of God and yeah. still keep living it and, and doing it. Then hopefully, Lord willing, that they, they, they might repent to see how you're living your lifestyle and then they might start asking more questions, you know, later on. But never cast anyone away if they're not receiving it right then right. and there. Just continue to still walk in love and then eventually maybe a year or two or so, God may send that person back to you because as long as you didn't treat that person with disrespect, then, you know, like I said, then they'll still see that you're a servant of God. So you got to walk in love like this. Amen. 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 God, give those Praise Amen. God. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Revelation 19, 6 through 10. Revelation 19, 6 through 10. Go ahead. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, yes. and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Hallelujah, mm -hmm. for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice. And give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, yes. and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed, be arrayed in fine linen, mm -hmm. clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. See, that's the righteousness of the saints. So that means that these were the ones out there who, who believed in Jesus Christ first, and they were keeping the commandments. Right, and they were keeping the commandments as well. Go ahead. And he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. Yes. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. Mm -hmm. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus, worship God, for mm -hmm. the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Ooh, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. But you see how that angel yeah. told that man, don't bow down to me now. Right, right. don't bow because I'm a fellow servant just like you. We worship God, not mm -hmm. him. But the Roman Catholic Church they, worship angels. You see them angels, yeah, all them angels there. Yeah. <laughs> he said who? Yeah, 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 we were talking about that before you, right before you came in. We were talking about that. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Let's go now to uh, 1 Peter 1. So you see that the prophets, they had the test of the spirit of prophecy. Now look at this. Let's go to um, 1 Peter 1, 3 through 12. 1 Peter 1. 3 through 12. Verse Peter 1. 3 through 12. Verse Peter 1. 
3 through 12. And when you get there, go ahead. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, mm -hmm. to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that faith is not away, reserved in heaven for you, mm -hmm. who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Mm -hmm. Where ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. whom having not seen, ye love, and whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, mm -hmm. receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, mm. of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come right. unto you. Mm -hmm. Searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ, which was in them, did signify. Then it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. Amen. So you see that, though. He says right here in verse 11, searching what or what manner of the time. He said of the time. He said of time the Spirit of Christ, which was in them, did signify. So the Spirit of Christ was in the prophets because they were searching. That's what he says, searching what or what manner of the time. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Okay. Um, I'm going to read verse 11 again. Searching what or what manner of the time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings, the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. Now look at this. Verse 12. Unto whom it was revealed mm -hmm. that not unto themselves but unto us they did minister the things mm -hmm. which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. So you see, so so the Holy Ghost brought down the gospel down from heaven to give it unto the to, to the prophets. And it said that the angels, they desire to look into it because see, the angels, they don't know the salvation plan for man. They don't. That's why we read 1 John 5, uh, 1 John 5, 7 says that, for well, there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. They have the understanding. They know the Father and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. They know the salvation plan for man, but the angels don't. That's why the angels desire to look into it, but only those three are the ones that have that understanding. And what, what, what precepts that, which gives that validity, is like when the angels ask themselves, what is it? There you go, yeah, yeah, Psalms 85, yeah. Such great there you go. Regard for them, because yes. the angels were like puzzled. Out of all his creations, yes. well, he's going really out for, for, there you for go. man. Mm -hmm. and, and, they, and they wanted to look into it. But like they said, they... they they desired to look yeah. into it because they were they trying to figure out why there you go. that God, why God has such a right. love for But God. remember, they weren't privy to that knowledge. It was only right. God, the Father, well, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They were the only ones that were privy to that information, not the angels. Right. Exactly. So exactly. Aren't there different angels, not to get off the yeah, you that, that are designed to do uh, specific things for the Lord. So mm -hmm. it, would it be, you know, like you had your angels and in yes, yeah, yeah, the seraphims, down seraphims, down yeah, uh -huh, the cherub seraphim, yeah, exactly. Down, yeah, they, mm -hmm. holy all day. So, you know, for them, I, I guess, well, I guess that is another story about how the angels, if they're made to be servants, how would they have a mind to think? Oh no, no, like I said, no, like I said, um, as soon as class is over, uh, uh, well, I'll definitely go over to uh, go in more in depth to that with you, no problem. Okay. Let's go to Second uh, Peter one. Because when you when you see that one, that one Holy Ghost, that one angel, he's that messenger. He's the one that delivers the message unto the prophets. It was him. And that's the angel that sits in the Lord's presence. And there's only one angel that sits in the Lord's presence. That's Gabriel. He's the one that has the understanding with the Father and with, uh, and with Jesus of what to do. Not the other angels. It was him. But yeah. Second uh, Peter 1. And we're going to read 12 through 21. Go ahead. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye know them, and be established in the present truth. Mm -hmm. Yea, I think it meet, as long 
as I am in this tabernacle to stir you up by putting you in remembrance, knowing that shor shortly I must put off this my tabernacle, even as our Lord Jesus Christ has sh have showed me. Moreover, I will endeavor that ye may be able, after my decease, to have these things always in remembrance. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables, mm -hmm. When we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. So he's telling them, like, look, these aren't devised fables that I'm telling you about how the Messiah come, how, how he came. And he said, like, look, we were there. Like, he was eyewitness. Watch what he's going to keep saying, though. Watch this. For he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. Yes. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. We have also a more sure word of prophecy for unto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. Yes. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Mm -hmm. For the prophecy came not in old time, but by the will of man. But holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen. amen. But you see how he said, I remember, he saw, um, he saw Christ. This, this is Peter, he said he saw Christ. But in verse 19 says, but we have a more, also a more sure word of prophecy saying that, even if I didn't see it, I already knew he had to come because the prophet spoke about a Messiah having to come. So that's why he says right here, verse 20, knowing this first and no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So he said, even though I saw Jesus, and even though he saw the baptism and, and saw the Mount Transfiguration, I saw these things, but even if I didn't see these things, I knew that it was right because I could go to the prophets and read that a Messiah had to come. Right. So just like us, we believe, we, we weren't physically there, but we understand by, by, by what the apostles say, but also by what the prophets were speaking about, right. about the coming of the Messiah. So that's how we have a more sure word of prophecy, because remember the prophets had the spirit of Christ in them. That's right. why the word God said, blessed are those who, has not seen yeah, yeah, he told yeah. Thomas that. Doubting yeah. Thomas, yeah. Praise, Thomas. Yeah, praise God. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let's go now to Acts 28. Acts 28, 21 to 31. Acts 28, 21 through 31. Acts 28, 21 through 31. Acts 28, 31 through 21. When you get there, 31, or 21 through 31. When you get there, go ahead. And they said unto him, We neither receive letters out of Judea concerning thee, neither any of the brethren that came showed or spake any harm of thee. Mm -hmm. But we desire to hear of thee what thou thinkest for us concerning this sect. Mm -hmm. We know that everywhere it is spoken again. Yes. And when they had appointed him a day, there came many to him into his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of God, yes. persuading them concerning Jesus, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets, from morning till evening. So you see that, because remember, they didn't have a New Testament then. So all they had was just from Genesis to Malachi. Amen. So he was able to preach. He said that he, he was able to uh, Persuading them concerning Jesus, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets from morning till evening. What else? Verse 24. And some believe the things which were spoken, yep. and some believe not. Mm -hmm. And when they agreed not among themselves, they departed after that Paul had spoken one word. Well spake the Holy Ghost by Esaias the prophet unto our father, mm -hmm. saying, Go unto this people and say, Hearing you shall hear. And shall not understand, and seeing you shall see, and not perceive. Right. For the heart of this people is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and should be converted, 
and I should heal them. Right, because he quoted Isaiah chapter 6, 9 through 10 when he said that about that. But go ahead. Be it known therefore unto you that the salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles, and that they will hear it. Well, brother, you got to remember, these Gentiles are from the northern kingdom, brother. Oh. They ain't these heathens around here. These are from the northern kingdom. Because it's only for Israel, brother. They can't read that. What? That means Gentiles. Yes. It, like, says what it, it, says, it says what it means. Thank you. But, nah, but it means Israelite stuff. Because, brother, you, cause you were the Gentile too, brother. Because I mean, you thought you was American. But now you realize you was an Israelite. Now you ain't a Gentile. Now you an Israelite. What? Get out of here. Go ahead. You know what the thing that they mean? They, didn't, they never read what God said that he was going to cause Israel to become jealous because mm -hmm. that, that, that the Gentiles There you go. Yes, it is. In. Yes, see, it is. See, they don't see that. But see, that's Provoked them to jealousy with a foolish nation. There yeah. you go. Yeah. What it is, they just want to keep on uh, 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 keep saying the stuff that only... Uh, Israel, can that's be, it. Can be that's, safe. A, that's a they heresy. Be they, they, and they, they act like they spot, like I said, they act like they spot crazy. secure. Okay, right. Right. here it is. You're 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 forbidding one of another nation to come into the covenant with Israel. You're telling them just because they happen to be born of one of another nation. Because trust me, if you were born, if you weren't born in Israel, like you wouldn't be, you wouldn't have that same issue. You'd be like, no, 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 no man. I want to be saying too. No, nah, no, nah, but now that you're an Israelite, you all high minded now. Right. No, mm -mm. don't do that. Yeah, praise they God. Him. There you go. Amen. 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 I'm gonna get a nation of people that's gonna receive me and make right. y'all jealous Amen. because y'all are so hard. You you refuse me. You rejected exactly. me. Praise and so God. now that they're coming in and worshiping uh, everybody have to he creates he came to us first. Right. Right. So now they're coming in worshiping everybody else. Oh yeah, yeah. there definitely is. Yeah. 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 Romans 1. Then you have to remember why were we chosen in the first place. We were talking about that on the way over here. The reason we were chosen was because we were to be we were the priest. example. Yes, yeah, pretty exactly. Amen. Exactly. Be, be a light to the Gentiles, exactly. not right. not to forbid them until they came to be salvation. Ro bring them in. Yeah, right. Ro right. Romans 1.16. Right. Right. Romans 1.16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first. And also to the Greek. Nah, brother, talking about to the to the southern kingdom and then to the northern kingdom. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'm telling you, like this is the answer that you they, they blind, man. They're blind, man. They're blind. We still we still in Acts. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. Um I'm at twenty seven. Okay, go ahead. No, 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 twenty nine. Okay. And when he had said these words, the Jews departed and had great reasoning among themselves. And Paul dwelt Two whole years in his own hired house, and received all that came unto him, preaching the kingdom of God and mm -hmm. teaching those things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence, no man forbidding him. When you look at twenty nine. Said, and when he had, he said, and when he had said these words, the Jews departed and had great reasoning among them. So that means that they argued vigorously about that. As a matter of fact, they argued so vigorous about that. Look what Paul said he had to do in Acts 18. When he was trying to teach Jesus to, to our people, Acts 18, start at verse 4. Look what he says, Acts 18 and 4. He said, um, and he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded the Jews and Greeks. And when Silas and Timotheus were come from Macedonia, Paul was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Jesus was Christ. And when they opposed themselves and blasphemed and shook his raiment, he said unto them, your blood be upon your own heads. I am clean. From henceforth, I will go unto the Gentiles. Hallelujah. Amen. That's, yeah. Nah, see, he said he's going to lead the southern kingdom. He, he said, I'm going to lead y'all southern kingdom. I'm going I'm to go preach to the northern kingdom. That's what That's what they'll say. Like, no, these Gentiles are, yeah, clearly saying that because they were blaspheming. They were cussing. Trust me, I get, man, in, in the group, I mean, I get called all kinds of names when I'm preaching Christ to them. But I see what Paul was going through. Mm -hmm. When you're preaching that to them, they get, they get hot. Yeah, but I'm like, but he's all in there. You get all kind of, bro, that's David. Oh, okay, no, all right. Preach that it. truth in Stephen and that's praise what God. I called you to do. Amen, Amen. praise Amen. God. Amen. John 5, John 5, 39 through 47. John 5, 39 through 37. John 5, 39 through 47. John 5, 39 through 47. John 5, 39 through 47. When we get there, go ahead. Search the scriptures, yes. for in them ye think ye have eternal life, 
and they are they which testify of me. And when he's telling them to search the scriptures, he's talking about from Genesis to Malachi. He let them yes. know that. That go ahead. And what else? And ye will not come to me. Yes. That ye might have life. Mm -hmm. I receive not honor from men, but I know you that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Mm -hmm. How can ye believe which, which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Yes. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. Mm -hmm. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses. And whom you trust. Because see, they claim that they believe in Moses and all that kind of stuff like that. Well, if that's the case, then watch what you're going to say then. For he had, for had you believed Moses, uh -huh. ye would have believed me. For he wrote of me. Mm -hmm. But if ye believe not his writing, how shall ye believe my word? See, thank you. And then like I said, because you can read Genesis 49, 10, Numbers 24, Deuteronomy 18. All those things are, are concerning Jesus. That's why I so, said Jesus was letting you know that he was that prophet. Among his brethren, that Moses, he said that he will raise up a prophet from among your brethren. Him you, you shall hear. That was talking about Christ. When you got the folks in the Old Testament, nah, but that had to be Joshua. Joshua? Why would it be him? Joshua was there when they were speaking, when 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 he was when they were the ones saying, Lord, don't speak to us anymore. You know what I'm saying? Lest we die. So why would he say, why would why would he raise up Joshua right there when Moses was already there? Nah, that was talking about Christ, the one the one to come. Let's go now to Psalms 40. He said, search the scriptures for in them. He said, they testify of me. And they do. Yeah, they all yeah. talk about him. We're going to read it again. Yeah. And, and you got to hear this answer when folks say, this is talking about David. Psalms 46 and 10. Psalms 46 and 10. Psalms 46 through 10. When we get there, go ahead. Psalms 46 through 10. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire. Right. My ears hast thou opened. Burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Mm. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Now we know they ain't talking about no David, but they'll say, brother, this is talk, this is bro, David is writing this. David right. is writing this psalm right. about Christ. But they'll say, Nah, see, David talking about himself. Talking about himself. I'm like, man, you. I'm telling you, they blind. They, they, they are blind when they can't see Christ through here. But go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I delight to do thy will, mm. O oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. Yes. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Mm -hmm. Lo, I have not refrained my lips. O oh Lord, thou knowest. Right, so when he says, I have preached righteousness in the great congregation, that's dealing with Israel. Because when he came preaching, he was preaching righteousness on how to repent and follow God. Go ahead. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. Uh -huh. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. Yes. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Amen. Amen. So now let's get some understanding because this is what you this is when you read this, you may not have any understanding, like, okay, lo, uh, verse seven, they said then said, I lo, I come in the volume of the book is written of me. So a person might think, well, that is talking about David, like it's not, but this is why you got to have to the law and to the testimony. The, the New Testament is going to testify on who that was. Let's read it right now. Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10, 1 through 10. That's why you need, we need both. We need the new and the old. Amen. We need the new and the old. Hebrews 10, 1 through 10. Hebrews 10, 1 through 10. Hebrews 10, 1 through 10. When you get there, go ahead. For the law, having a shadow of good things to come, uh -huh. and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices with sac sacrifices yes. which they offered year by year continually make the comers there thereunto perfect. Mm -hmm. For then would they not have ceased to be offered? Mm -hmm. Because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sin. Yes. But in those sacrifices there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. Mm -hmm. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sin. Mm. Wherefore, when he cometh unto the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering, thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared for me. Mm -hmm. And burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast, thou hast had no pleasure. Mm -hmm. 
Then said I, Lo, I come, in the volume of the book it is written of me, yes. to do thy will, O God. Above when he said, Sacrifice and offering and burnt off burnt offerings and offering for sin thou wouldest not, mm -hmm. neither has pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. Exactly. So, so when you read in Matthew, I mean, when you read Exodus 24, 1 through 8, it shows the first covenant was established by the blood of bulls and goats. Mm -hmm. But then you read Matthew 26, 26 through 28, the, uh, the second covenant or the new covenant is established by the blood of Jesus. So that's what he's letting them know. So he was like, we're no longer under the blood of bulls and goats because that could never take away sin. Mm -hmm. Only way that you're able to take away sin was through the blood of Messiah because he his sin, his blood was perfect. Remember, animals, right, animals didn't die. You know what I'm saying? For that's why I say that's why the Bible says all the sins were laid upon him. So he bore the sins of the world. So now when we trust and believe in him, when it's time to go on judgment day, or the same way how it was, remember he's our Passover lamb. When they, when you had that blood post, when you put the blood on the doorpost, the death angel passed over. Passover. Yeah. Same way it is on, on the great white throne judgment. Lord willing, you know, so I would like to be in the first resurrection. But even if we're not in the first resurrection, if you had the blood of Christ on you and you, and you know, you were living a life, God, they're going to see that and you will not get thrown into the lake of fire. Because even though you weren't, you know, even though we're not perfect, but still we believe in Jesus and we were striving to, to live like him. You know what I'm saying? But see, I want to make the first resurrection. You know what I'm saying? That's Amen. what I want to get in. Amen. However, but we have to make the second resurrection. God, like I said, he can still see the blood of Jesus on you. He will not throw you into the lake of fire. So that goes to show you that a lot of these camps and stuff, they don't believe in the redeeming power of the blood of Christ. Mm. Because they're saying that David, if they say this is David that is being spoken of where he is in reference to Christ. Yes. They're we just, we all agree. <laughs> yeah. 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 But you see the hand of the enemy. Mm -hmm. When he comes in, people, he uh, perverts their mind. There you go. And to the words of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Truth. There you go. Amen. Amen. Praise so God. therefore, we're trying to omit Jesus. They're omitting. Yeah, they're trying. Yes. Because of, John was John three seventeen said, "Whosoever believe mm -hmm. in Him that Jesus Christ, you know, yeah, that John God three sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. John yeah. 3, 16. I got you. Good. Uh -huh. But they shall have eternal life. And see, believing gets you in the door. There you go. And then once you study that. Covers you with the blood of Jesus. Yes. You do that because you have to believe. There you go. Amen. Praise God. There you go. You, so you have to believe that. Amen. First and foremost. First and foremost. Yes. Amen. Amen. And then you become. That's how that blood is over his head. Mm -hmm. You were just saying that when you come with forty thousand angels, mm -hmm. and they come and say, "Hey, preach." Well, you were just saying that when you come before God, every time you go, because you're calling on the name of Jesus, and when you're calling on His name, He said, "God has given all power and all the earth preach. to His name." So therefore, yeah. when you go before the great white throne, you're gonna be covered because you believe and receive, and you. Like you said, we try to See? live according to the yeah, standards amen. and amen. ask for forgiveness. Yeah, you go. Praise God. Good, good, good. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew 5, 17 through 19. Matthew 5, 17 through 19. Matthew 5, 17 through 19. When do people start preaching from the Old Testament, you think, in those Camps or generally speaking. Well, not, not the camps. No, we're not talking about or camps. We're, yeah, we're, 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 talk, we're talking actually. Just, just general, even, even general, yeah, yeah, general. yeah. Uh, around the 1800s is when they start coming up with these uh, seminaries established by the Jesuits. And then what they did was they were teaching, like you have to teach a certain doctrine, you know, mm -hmm. like that. So, and a lot of times they'll say, why well, read the Old Testament? Because that's old. We're in the New Covenant. So, there's no need to go back. And they'll tell you that's dealing with Israel. Now he's dealing with the Gentiles. So while there's no need to go back and read what he was talking to Israel about, we Gentiles. So, so that's what they did. And now they're telling people, you know, yeah, you don't have to read about in the Old Testament. Everything is in the New Testament is dealing with Jesus now because he wasn't in the Old. That's what they'll say. He wasn't in the Old, which we know that he was. You know what I'm saying? But that's, those are the things so that, that they say, though. That makes sense because if you, have, if you take that doctrine, then that, that lets you know why they can easily say, well, all that stuff back in the Old Testament, Oh, that was for the Jews. They had to do that. Yes. So now it's like, like it's no more now in, in the New Testament. Yes. You know it's not true. Right. Yes. Right. 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 Exactly. That's exactly what it is. At the same time, there are people in the New Testament like, well, they were preaching from the... That's yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what they're There you go. We look at it as two books, but that, they were all preaching they, from Thank you. Oh, right. yeah. Thank you. So that's the... There you go. That's their foundation. They was like, we're not. That don't matter. We got to... We have to remember like also. They just made it up in the front. Like, no, they use all, that's all they had. We but, have to remember when, funny when Paul was writing the epistles, he was writing to the Galatians. He was writing to Colossians, to Philippians. 
those were letters to encourage them. After he visited them, and then there was letters to a pistol to encourage them so they continue in the faith. faith. But what people are doing now, now Greg, like I said, no, we are supposed to read those things to get edification from them, but what they're reading those now and making them as a staple and then just nullifying everything in the Old Testament and, and taking bits and pieces of what Paul said. And see, see, Paul said that, you know, you can eat whatever you want, just pray over it. Like, stuff like that. And then that's how you establish a doctrine right now. That's what the Bible calls the uh, Roman Catholic Church, the mother of harlots. Right. And she had daughters. Her daughters are the Protestants. Those are the ones, because Protestants are teaching almost the same thing that the Catholic Church is teaching, but they're just not teaching, you know, to worship Mary, Lent, and things like that. But they're still doing Christmas, Easter, Sunday. They're still doing those things that it was established by the Roman Catholic Church. It was not established by the by, by Jesus, first and foremost, the prophets or the apostles. Because you can read it through. If you read, if a person just read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, they just read it, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be doing Christmas, Easter, Sunday, eating other food because you won't find anywhere in there to show you that. However, like I said, but what they do is in 2 Peter, like I said, Paul, Peter warned us because the majority of the people are going to go to Paul's writings. And look what he said. 2 Peter 3, verse 15. He says, and a, he said, an account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom, wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, and also in all his epistles, speaking, to, speaking in them of these things, in which some things are hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest or twist, as they do other scriptures unto their own destruction. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing. They're taking Paul's epistles and they're circumventing those with the mm -hmm. word of God. But Paul told you out of his own mouth in 1 Corinthians uh, 14 and 37, out of his own mouth. He said out of his own mouth, 1 Corinthians 14 and 37. Um, <laughs> praise yeah. God, praise God. 1 Corinthians 14 and 37. He says right here. And if any man think of himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. So Paul can't come because they love to say, see, Paul said we ain't got to be circumcised. So no more circumcision. Paul said we ain't got to keep the dietary law. We ain't got to keep the Sabbath. So they'll, 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 they'll run the Paul's writings and read one verse, don't have understanding, and twist it to their own destruction. But Paul's out of his own mouth. He keeps the commandments. He's teaching and teaching the commandments of the Lord. Clearly, plain as day. But if, they don't, if you don't have a good teacher to lead you to that, that's how a lot of people being led astray. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. We're in, we're in uh, Matthew 5. Yeah, Matthew 5. Matthew 5. We're going to be 17 through 19. Matthew 5. 17 through 19. He says this. Think not. The first thing he says is think not. See, a lot of folks doing a whole lot of thinking. and thinking they say he did away, he did away with it. But this is what he said out of his mouth. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I mean, this is the first thing he said when he started his ministry. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law until all be fulfilled. He said, till heaven and earth pass. When will heaven and earth pass? Revelation 21. Revelation 21 says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw a holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and he shall be his people. And God himself shall be, them, be with them, and he be their God. And God shall wipe away all the tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he sat upon the throne, beheld, I make all things new, he said unto me. Right, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, it is done. Right. Amen. It is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto you him that thirst of the fountain of water, of freedom of life. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. This is when... All things will be fulfilled at that time. But so when you look up and you still see heaven and earth, know the law still stands. And that's what, this is the very first thing Jesus said when he started his ministry right here. Amen. Don't think I've come to change and do away with the law. He did. But folks, first thing they say, see, they read this and say, see, he did away with it. Huh? How do you read this right. and say he did away with it? And they come here.
Right. Amen. Do I have to say right? He just said, you came right here in Jesus' words and read. There you go. He said, not even a jot or what? Yeah, a t t yeah that's the, 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 the smallest the minute. Smallest there yeah, you go. Right, and then that's look what he's going to say right after that. Look at 19. What does 19 say? Whosoever uh -huh. therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach me and so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Mm. But whosoever shall do and teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. So do you see that though? So he says, whosoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments and, and teach men to do so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. So even if you think God did away with the dietary law, his Sabbath day, his feast. If you're thinking those things, he said, look, don't, don't do that because I didn't, he said, I didn't come to do, do away with the least, the right. least. Mm -hmm. But they'll look at that and they think, well, uh, that was an old covenant. You know, so we ain't got to do that no more. But yeah, you still can't lie. You still can't steal. Well, what about the Ten Commandments? Yeah, yeah, I believe the Ten Commandments. How about the one I said, remember, keep the Sabbath day? Oh, all right. Well, you know Jesus is my Sabbath now. You know? <laughs> like, whoa, 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 what? But that's the thing that, that'll happen, though, because... They'll, they'll go and they, like I said, what they'll do is use um, the Bible or cherry pick the Bible and it's like a buffet line. Okay, I ain't going to lie, I ain't going to steal, but I'm going to eat my pork now. <laughs> uh, um, I'm not going to go to Sabbath, so I'm going to go to Sunday service, but yet I'm still going to do Christmas and Easter, but I love the Lord with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Like, they'll do all these different things that's contrary to the word of God, but yet they'll still say they love him. And that's why when Jesus said right here in, um, in, in, um, in Mark 7, 6, in Mark 7 and 6, where he was telling the, um, the Pharisees, Mark 7 and 6, where he says, he, he answers to them, Well has Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Howbeit in vain they do worship me. He said, in vain. That means for nothing. In vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Laying aside the commandments of God, Amen. ye hold traditions of men as washing of the pots and cups, as many other such things ye do. And he said to them, full well ye reject the commandments of God, that you may keep your own traditions. Tell them, you can't do that. You can't do that, man. You got to serve God how he said it. And, and, and that's why it's going to be a sad day when folks will say how much they love the Lord and they weren't doing what he said. Look, I told you to do this. Why didn't you do it? Well, my pastor said, <laughs> well, my mom, well, my grandmama said, no, what did you do? What, what was written? You claim that you love me. What did it say here? I mean, I, I, I read it, but see, I thought that was for the Jews. <laughs> nah, go ahead. What you just read, that explains what Jesus and many of you that day are going to come to me and say, well, Lord, did we not preach? Praise, yes. Mm -hmm. not cast that mm -hmm. in your name. There you go. Yep, he said, because that's that Roman Catholic uh, 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 doctrine. Yes. The doctrines of men. Yes. So that's when he said, depart from me, thou work of us. The doctrine that said you were evil. Yeah. Depart from me, for I never mm -hmm. knew you. Yes. And then even now with some of the faith teachings and the grace teaching and that you don't, you know, God, they'll flat tell you, you don't need that, you know, uh, 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 any kind of commandments on you because the grace of love, the grace of the fact that you're able to go to God, that's the grace is when you're able to go and say, Lord, forgive me and yes. give another chance. There you go. I'll forgive you seven times, seven times. There, yeah, yes, amen. When, amen. You, when you slip and fall, his grace covers there you. There you go. Because there was a time when they had just stoned you to the, death. Right. Right. Mary Magdalene. Yeah. Mary, Mary yeah. Magdalene. Yeah. She, yeah. She, God would have gotten stone under the law of Moses, under right. the principle of right. But when you, you can also read in uh and and uh, read, you can also read this right here in uh, Zechariah ten and twelve. Zechariah no twelve at Zechariah twelve and ten rather. Zechariah twelve and ten says, "And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplications, and they shall look upon." Me, whom they have pierced, they shall mourn of him as one mourner for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him, and that one is bitterness for his firstborn. So Jesus brought the spirit of grace, because you can read that in John 1.17. John 1.17 says, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Right. Under yeah. the law of Moses, Mary Magdalene would have got stoned, yeah. but under, under, under Christ, Christ saw her. Hey. Woman, where are thy accusers? There are none. Go no, sin no more. He didn't say, look, now you know my grace will allow you to keep, you know, see what other people husbands and all that. No, my love encouraged you. There you go. Give me your opportunity to go back and do it. There you go. And I guarantee, like I said, I I believe, like I said, I see nine times out of ten. I believe she didn't go out and sleep with another. Uh, no, I don't believe she did that. No, I don't. I don't believe she did that. Yeah, so she, they, she was the first one to marry Magdalene. There you go. Come back and tell them that. 
Amen. 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 And then you work your way on to those. And I believe that that right there should be a barometer for all those first believers Amen. when we're ministering to someone. Just establish the ten, and then we can eventually work up work up the rest. Right. Exactly. But like a child, um, like if you're feeding the baby, you don't want to give the baby the whole entire
We're going to start at verse 25. Luke 24 and 25. When you get there, go ahead. Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart mm -hmm. to believe all that the prophets have spoken. So you got to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Remember, they spoke about Christ. Go ahead. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? Mm -hmm. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. 44. Mm -hmm. This is what Jesus fulfilled right here. We're going to read what Jesus fulfilled right here. Go ahead. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you that all things must be fulfilled, mm -hmm. which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Mm -hmm. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures. Yes. And he said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day. Yes. And that, repent, that repentance and remission of sin should be preached, in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Beginning, beginning. at Jerusalem, with all exactly. But see, you talk about because you know Israel, we were scattered to all nations. So you got to preach the Israelites, starting at Jerusalem first, and then all the Israelites. No, let's talk about yeah, Israelites as well, but then also the other nations. Oh, nations. Exactly. But that was it. That was it. But you see, though, verse forty-six, and he says, that, "Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise for the dead the third day." That's what he had to fulfill because the prophets were talking about him. Suffering. We're going to get some more confirmation. Acts 3. Acts 3, 17 through 26. Hold on, hold on. Acts 3, Acts 3, 17 through 26. Acts 3, 17 through 26. That he had to suffer and die? Well, you'll see it right here. Acts 3, 17 through 26. Go ahead. And now, brethren, I would that through ignorance you did it, mm -hmm. as did also your rulers. Yes. But those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets yep. that Christ should suffer, he had so fulfilled. So, so he had to suffer, he had to suffer and die. Because like so you can really read that in, uh, in Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53 really breaks it down, how he had to suffer for us. Mm -hmm. And also in Daniel 9, 25, where it says that, it says that how, how, um, how the Messiah was cut off but not for himself. Mm -hmm. Right, because he had to die for the sins of the world, exactly. So he had to die and suffer for our sins. That's, that was... And that's what the prophets were speaking of, about the Messiah having to come. But look at verse 19, what it say? Repent ye therefore, uh -huh. and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, yes. when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you. Wait, hold on, but look at Luke 19, it says, Repent ye therefore, and be converted. Psalms 19 and 7, look, look what it tells you how, how you were converted. Psalms 19 and 7 tells you how you converted. Psalms 19 and 7. Psalms 19 and 7 says, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure in making wise the simple. So when you're keeping this law of God, it converts you because if you are a thief, you no longer steal anymore. Right. If you're an adulterer, you no longer commit adultery anymore. Because why? Because the law said, Thou shalt not. So therefore, that's how you are converted. Exactly. <laughs> but know that you're justified by Jesus, right. not the law. We gotta remember that now because in Romans 9, Romans 9, uh, Romans um, Romans 3 and 20 tells you, Romans 3 and 20 clearly tells you, therefore by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in the sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin, because we read verse 23, for we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So if we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God, how can we be justified by a law that we've already broken? And that's why we need Jesus. That's why we, and that's why we preach Jesus first and foremost over anything. Right. If, it ain't, if, it ain't, if it ain't Jesus first, it ain't nothing. I'm telling you. Amen. Exactly. So, so yeah. So now, okay, we're, we're still in Acts 3. Oh, go, ahead. go ahead. Whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy uh, prophets since the world began. For Moses, Moses truly said unto the fathers, mm -hmm. a prophet shall the Lord your God raise up. Unto you of your brethren, mm -hmm. like unto me, him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. Yes. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet mm. shall be destroyed from among the people. So if you ain't listen to this Jesus, 
Ooh, you're going to be destroyed from your people. So if you don't believe Jesus who he is, you're going to have to die in your sins. Exactly. So that's why we got to believe Jesus. Go ahead. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. Yes. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant, which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Yes. Unto you first, God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you, and turning away every one of you from his iniquity. And we understand iniquity is a sin. And what is First John 3, 4? Sin is a transgression of the law. So why would Jesus think he could come and he died on the cross so that you can still continue in your iniquity or in your sin? No, that's why it says right here, unto you, verse 26, unto you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you and turning away every one of you from his iniquities or sin. Go ahead. God, uh, God died on the cross for our repentance for us to, uh, to be uh, repentant in his name. So uh, we want to, um, you know, kill animals. Yes, exactly. Right, animals. exactly. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Okay, let's go now to John 1. John 1, we're going to do 1 through 15. Let's go finish this up. John 1, 1 through 15. John 1, 1 through 15. John 1, 1 through 15. When you get there, go ahead. In the beginning was the Word, yes. and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Mm. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Yes. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Right. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. Mm. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light yes. that all men through him might believe. Mm. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Mm -hmm. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, wow. and the world knew him not. Mm. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Mm -hmm. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believed on his name. Yes. Which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Mm -hmm. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Mm -hmm. 15. Yep. John bare witness of him yes. and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spake. Yes. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And we understand, that's why I said it preferred means greater than. He was greater than me, for he was before me. Now we understand that John the Baptist was six months older than Jesus. So he was six months older than Jesus, but that's why he said, that's why he said it, um, in verse uh, 15, John bare witness of him in Christ, saying, This was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is greater, he said, is greater than before me, for he was before me. Now, John knew that was his cousin. He knew he was six months older, but he said that he came before him. Why? Because Jesus existed in the beginning with the Father. So that's how he was before John, and yet he was still after John because he came to the lineage of Mary, and he was old. Uh, he was younger than John. But John understood that he was there before him, though. He ranked higher. Ranked higher. And he ranked higher as well, yes. Yes, he did. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Praise God. Yes, he did. Praise. Yes, he did. Full of the Holy Ghost. Yes, he did. Praise God. We heard about praise God. No, no, no. John. John the Baptist leaped to the womb. Yes. There you go. Amen. Yes. Praise God. No, for real. That's that. There you go. Serious. Huh? Oh, he he leaped in the womb. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to read, because Jason where that was. I'm going to read Luke 1, 39 and 40. It says, And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of, Ju of Judah and entered to the house of Zechariah and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Ooh, yeah. She was filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 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 So yeah, he leaped in the womb. 
when he heard about the salutation of you bringing forth the son, Jesus, he leaped in the womb because when you're reading here, right, when you're reading here, when you read verses 1 through 37, it talks about how the angel uh, appeared unto Mary and said, how she's going to have a child. That's why, that's why when folks, I don't understand how people could look here, it says right here in Luke 21, 29, it says, and the angel said unto her, fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and he, and he shall call the name, and he shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom shall have no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Highest shall overshadow thee, Therefore also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, and right, so yeah. Oh, oh, here it is in verse 36. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the six months. So see, so when he told, she was already six months, six pregnant, months pregnant with uh, John the Baptist, whom he was called bearing. Look at this. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Oh, that, so, but they'll tell you, nah, but it's just impossible. I don't understand how in the world. Oh, yeah, she was she was was she. Huh? Huh? Yeah, Elizabeth was, yeah, exactly. She had John. Yeah. And he was the one to bring, the, make the fair way of Jesus. Yeah, amen, yeah. amen. He, he paid that way. Yes, yes. Yeah. He was the one that came in the spirit of Elijah. Yeah, he came in the spirit of Elijah. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, that was sad, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're going to pay for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They're going to pay for that. You know, but, but, but it's, it's one of the great mysteries of Scripture that I looked at. Uh, when Jesus, when, when, he had, when Christ had found out about John the Baptist's death, and then Jesus proclaimed that none was bringing really, the John, that was deep right there, too, though. That's a good point. It was. But you know why, though? I don't to hear some of the things. That's great the reason why, though? John the Baptist did. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus made the statement there was none greater. Man. But the reason why he said that about John the Baptist? Because when you read Ma uh, Malachi 4, Malachi 4 and verse 5, he says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. So you can read Luke 1, 17, letting you know that John the Baptist was the one that came in the spirit of Elijah. Luke 1, 17. Luke 1, 17 says, And he shall go, he said, talk dinner with John, and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of, of Isaiah, of Elias, well, Elijah, to turn the hearts of the father to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make a ready people prepared of the Lord. See, so I was dealing with um, John the Baptist, but that's mm -hmm. why I believe he said there was no one greater than him because he prepared the way for Christ to right. come. Right. Exactly. That's deep, though. It is deep. And Last one. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. But didn't he preach to the people that he was going to be coming to? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's all he was preaching. Yeah, he was. There he was. Yes, he was. Right. And then that's when he baptized them. He was like, well, I got to baptize you. He said, yeah, suffer and so. He so was worthy enough to baptize you. Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He said. Hey. He wasn't worried at the time. She, yeah, that's God. Yeah, yeah he, he was preparing the way yes. for the Lord. Hey. Remember the lesson, like I said, remember, so we shown that Jesus is the word. And you go see this right here. Last, last one. Revelation 19, 11 through 13. Revelation 19, 11 through 13. When you get there, go ahead. And I saw heaven open. Yes. And behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. Yes. And in righteousness... He does judge and make war. Mm -hmm. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Yes. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, mm -hmm. and his name is called the Word of God. Amen. 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 Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God.